Hello beautiful being, it's Trini. A lot of people are waking up to the power and the importance of connecting with our ancestors. So I'm going to share with you a few ways that you can get started with your ancestral veneration. Now, every time I sit at my ancestor altar, my dog comes around. You might notice that your ancestors and your pets have a close connection. So if you notice that, it's beautiful. Just go with it. <laughs> this is Florida water, and I absolutely love to use this to cleanse myself before I spend a lot of time formally at my altar with my ancestors. And I put it in a spray bottle like this so it's easy to access. I love to light candles as I honor my ancestors. Here I'm using a pillar candle that I leave on my ancestor altar, but most often what I'll use is just a simple tea light candle and I'll anoint it with my clear connection intention oil, which I create and sell. And the purpose of that is to strengthen the connection between us and our higher self and us and our spirit allies and ancestral spirits. So I anoint it, I light it, and I, once I'm done meditating, I just simply leave it on my altar. I also like to burn incense and I leave that on my ancestor altar as well. And one of the most important things that we can ever do is just simply to be quiet and still with our ancestors and hear what they have to share with us. They love a glass of clean water and fresh flowers left on their altar. Food offerings are also wonderful. If you know something that they love to eat, you can offer that to them. And here I'm burning ancestor money. This is one of my favorite rituals. I anoint it with my clear connection oil. And as I'm folding it, preparing it, I think of the energy that I am sending to them. And as I burn it, I direct the energy all the way back to my very first ancestors, all the way down my ancestral lines on both sides, mother and father, to give them all great energy. Here I'm using the magic of sound to help bring healing to my ancestors and also just simply to give them good energy and to spend time with them. A great way to connect with them is to keep their photo and any items that you know that they loved either close by or on your altar. I hope that this has been helpful to you. I wish you peace, joy, and many blessings. Take care.